What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here and it's when we're going to be talking about the latest rumors on Jesse Minter as the Michigan defensive coordinator reportedly has interviewed with the Philadelphia Eagles for their defensive coordinator position. We're also going to be talking about Michigan starting spring camp and how Morion Walker could be the starting cornerback next to Will Johnson. It's all going to be in this video so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so of course, if you guys are new around here, make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button on the video if you go ahead and enjoy. And comment down below any thoughts or questions you ha you guys have throughout the video. Let's go ahead and talk about Jesse Minter. We got the news this morning, according to a, a report from NFL Network's Mike Garafalo, that Michigan defensive coordinator Jesse Minter interviewed with the Philadelphia Eagles for their defensive coordinator position. He said in a tweet, Among the Eagles' defensive coordinator interviews to date, Rams defensive backs coach and pass game coordinator Chris Shula and Michigan defensive coordinator Jesse Minters, sources say. There's also other reports that the Eagles uh, interviewed former Wisconsin interim head coach and defensive coordinator Jim Leonard. Also, other reports uh, have said that the Eagles have requested an interview with Seahawks associate head coach Sean Desai. So obviously this is very concerning for uh, Michigan right now as the same thing happened last season with Mike McDonald. He was here for one year and then went to be the Ravens defensive coordinator and now it's Jesse Minter. He's only been here one year, had a great season last season, and now he's already being interviewed for a team that just went to the Super Bowl. So we'll see what happens, but he was interviewed by the Eagles. Now, as far as his contract goes for Michigan in 2022, Minter had a base salary of $900,000 and also earned $425,000 in bonuses. And last year, uh, he also agreed to a three-year contract and will receive a 25000 pay bump in 2023 and 2024. Also not to mention, his father, Rick Minter, is an analyst on the Michigan staff. Now, Jesse Minter does have experience in the NFL as well, as he was a former Ravens assistant, came from the coaching tree of John Harbaugh uh, before he went to Vanderbilt for their defensive coordinator position. And obviously, Jim Harbaugh picked him up last season, which uh, was a funny thing because John Harbaugh recommended to Jim Harbaugh about Mike McDonald and Jesse Minter. Harbaugh obviously went with McDonald. Donald first and then he left to be the Ravens defensive coordinator and then Harbaugh got Jesse Minter the next year so it kind of worked out however now we're in the same position as Jesse Minter is interviewing with the Eagles now obviously you know Minter probably isn't you know looking to leave Michigan or doesn't like the pay that he's getting I mean he, he made 1.3 million dollars this year so he's also getting a raise shortly but obviously uh, when an NFL team you know calls you for an interview for the defense coordinator position especially the team that won the NFC last year you're probably going to take that interview so we'll see what happens obviously the Eagles will be interviewing other people but uh, Jesse Minter, I mean, he, he does seem like a very good option. I hope Michigan keeps him. But, uh, you know, some, some possible options if Jesse Minter does lead or leave, excuse me. Uh, one option would be Steve Klinkscale. He's obviously the defensive backs coach for Michigan. However, uh, last year he was also the co-defensive coordinator. And he is a very good coach. So Harbaugh could promote within the program. Or he could go what he has done with his last five hires. And uh, go and get an outside guy from the program. But Steve Klinkscale would be one option. But uh, let me know what you guys thoughts on this of Minter interviewing with the Eagles and if Minter does leave Michigan who would you guys want Michigan to replace him with at the defensive coordinator position obviously Michigan has national title hopes next season they are returning the fifth most returning production out of the whole FBS next season but I will see what happens with this situation as Jesse Minter interviewing with the Eagles and then the next thing I want to talk about 
is Michigan football as they start spring ball. They started it yesterday, first day of spring ball. Try to play some videos from the Michigan football Twitter as they posted some videos and pictures from the spring, the first spring practice that they had. It's obviously really exciting. The first day of spring ball, it just means the 2023 season is is getting closer and closer but there's one thing i want to talk about and it is amorian walker we've talked about it before how amorian walker who was recruited as a wide receiver in the 2022 class he will apparently be practicing as a cornerback in spring ball which is pretty huge i mean i could definitely see him as a cornerback he is very lengthy He's got a lot of speed. And speaking about his speed, there was a video posted with a hand-timed 6.10 second three-cone drill that Amorian Walker did. And that would have been the fastest time in NFL draft scouting combine history. I'll try to play the video up on screen for you guys. It looks like he has great agility, great stop and start. And the best thing about these great athletes who play in high school, I mean, not only did they play wide receiver, but they also played on defense. So Morion Walker did play cornerback in high school as well as wide receiver. And uh, he is tall. He's 6'4", 180 pounds. He also played a lot of cornerback last season. Um, Michigan used him not only as a wide receiver, but they also put him in in the quarterback or cornerback spot in the games late in the game if they're blowing a team out so he obviously doesn't have that much experience at the college level however we have done this before mike sammer still uh, he switched from wide receiver to the defensive side now he's one of the best defensive players for michigan and now a morion walker there's also guys like junior Jaden mcburrows sophomore miles pollard who will also get a chance to prove their reason to be uh, the starting cornerback next to sophomore Will Johnson. And, you know, obviously, G Jamon Green, DJ Turner, uh, they both came out of nowhere and were playing at a high level for Michigan on the defensive side. So we may see another player emerge here in the offseason and become uh, the an elite defensive player for Michigan at the cornerback position. But uh, speaking of Will Johnson, talking about Morion Walker, he called Walker one of the freakiest athletes he's been around. Jim Harbaugh also described Morion Walker as special, unique abilities in terms of athleticism. Also, Cornelius Johnson said Morion Walker hit like 20 miles an hour when we were only doing a 10-yard, 5-yard rep. That is insanely fast for only 10 yards and 5 yards. So the dude is really fast. There's no doubt he could probably be a very good cornerback with his speed, his athleticism, his agility. Him and Will Johnson could make a great de duo on the defensive side as the cornerback. But uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Who do you guys want to see emerge for the cornerback position? Uh, right now, that's really Michigan's only weakness on the side, on the defensive side. I, I, honestly, probably the whole team. Michigan is pretty stacked going into next season. It's just the cornerback position and who will be that other starter next to Will Johnson that is the concern right now. But uh, with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. Not a whole lot going on. Just wanted to talk about spring ball, Amorian Walker, and now the news of Jesse Minter that just came out this morning. But I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and comment down below. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.